Hey, what's up? Today is September 11, 2019, and it is a very sad day for me in the Jackson household because today I am getting rid of my dogs. I am selling both of my dogs, yes. We got church right there, and then it's Coco. They're leaving today. Um, church, he's laying here. Normally, they don't even, normally, they can't even come in these rooms, but, you know, these are the last day they're going to be here. Coco, as you can see, she's right here chilling. Hey, Coco. Let's get you in focus, baby. Got the focus? Hey, baby. Hey, what's up, church? Look at your haircut. I gave him the weirdest haircut today. Uh, this is Coco. Sit. Sit down, church. Sit. Sit. Hey, church. Church is chilling. Coco. Sit down, Coco. To the camera. Say cheese. That's Coco. That's church. They're sitting, relaxing, chilling. All right, guys, let's go to your room. Come on, let's go to the room. Go. So, yes, I am feeling really depressed that I have to let them go. I don't want to let them go. Hold on. All right, let's get this camera back up. Edit. This is weird. Okay. So I have to let them go today. I don't want to let them go. But it's been a long time coming. I mean, it's just I reached a point in life where I can no longer take care of them the way that I need to. I'm having some lifestyle changes. Um, and dogs are a lot of responsibility. You know, dogs take up a lot of time, a lot of energy. I've had these dogs for about four years. <laughs> I've had these dogs for at least four years, guys. Come on, come sit down with me. Here, let's go in the room and sit down with the light. Come on. Come here, Coco. Come here, Charge. Let's go back in the room. Let's go in the studio. Okay, we'll sit right here. Come here. Good church. Look at him. Hey, what up, church? Say hey. Come on, Coco. Come over here, too. So dogs are a lot of responsibility. They're not easy to take care of. Um, and especially these dogs, these two dogs, they require constant attention. You know, they use the bathroom three, four times out of the day. They require a lot of love, um, really good food. You got to make sure they get their shots every six months and more. And uh, I was never a dog person, to be honest with you. Um, I never really was a pet person because I'm busy working, hustling. But what happened is, I uh, I was these dogs helped me when I was in a very dark space in life, and uh, now I'm out of that space, and it's just time that we part, you know, for them to get taken care of the way they need to. Like, because what what happened was at the time I was dating a young lady. And it was really her dog. It was Coco. So Coco, this one here, she, we found her, uh, she was a stray dog. And when we found her, at the time, my girlfriend at the time, she was always working. She was always busy. She was uh, constantly was a traveling nurse. So the dog was living with me for about eight months. And then me and the girl broke up. And it was a very hard breakup. And when we broke up, you know, I, um wanted to keep the dog i had got attached to the dog plus to be honest with you me and the dog was making money me and coco were making money coco has a lot of outfits in fact i'll show y'all her outfits if y'all want to see them we're making a lot of money and uh, it's because she was helping me get customers i was meeting people constantly stopping people uh in the street and you know i was in sales and uh eventually my ex-girlfriend wanted to get coco back so i gave her back but then I was like, man, I miss Coco. So that's when I found Church. I went out and got him. Now, Church, I found him on Craigslist. Somebody, the owner, actually literally lived two blocks away from where I stay at now. And so when I bought Church, 
you know, it was difficult because he caught church. It's like he was traumatized as a baby, so he needed all type of attention, as you can see right now. So, uh, you know, I've grown attached to them. And uh, eventually I found out that Coco wasn't being taken care of, right? So I went to my ex-girlfriend and I got the dog back. So that's how I ended up with two dogs. And it was okay at first because I had good, consistent money. I was working from home. Things were going well. But, um, and then I was depressed because that breakup had depressed me. And it was like in my life, my work wasn't going right for a while. I wasn't doing what I wanted to do. So I was depressed. So church helped me get through it. As you can see, church had broke his leg. We've been through a lot, but it's, you know, it healed up really good. But anyway, make a long story short. So now I'm at a point where for the past year, I've been wanting to get rid of them, but I just haven't found the right home because I don't want them to go just anywhere. So finally, I found someone that wants to adopt church and she's going to keep them temporarily. Like I, he's still going to be my dog, church. Uh, but he's just going to be with this new family and I'll see him maybe like once every two months, maybe. And then maybe in a year from now, I may pick him, get him back or I may just let them have church. Uh, we'll see, you know, but I want to, I'm used to not being around animals. I'm used to being able to do what I got to do, work how I got to work. And I'm tired of these dogs peeing around my house all the time. Honestly, they pee like four times out of the day. And I don't have time. Like if I had a family where I was living, we were all living together, then I would keep the dogs if we had space for them. But these dogs deserve to be having fun, to be getting hugs and kisses all the time. As you can see, church loves that type of stuff. So I want to make sure that he gets it with the right household, the right family. So, so this so church loves this type of stuff. Like he's just a straight up baby. So, I'm letting them go. I'm gonna. Oh, let me show y'all some of their clothes. Y'all wanna see the clothes? Come on, let's go look at the clothes. Okay. So they got quite a few outfits here. I'm just gonna show you some of the outfits they have. Put it on the back porch. Get back. Okay. So here's some of the outfits. I was on the porch going through them. So you see she's got this nice leopard print. She's got a nice little leopard print outfit, pajama set. This is Coco stuff. You see she's got a nice little fancy coat there. You know, she can do a little diva thing with a little fancy, you know, coat. She's got a tutu she likes to wear right here. Nice little tutu she puts on. And uh, she's got other stuff, you know, bikini swimsuits. As you can see, she got a little swimsuit here. She's got ballerina outfits, pajamas, you know, all sorts of outfits. So, church has clothes too. We're gonna, I'm gonna take a break, then I'll put that clothes on, then we'll get back. We'll come back. You ready to go to church now? You look like you're ready to go. What about Coco? Coco, sit. Are you ready to go? Hmm? Are you ready to roll out? Church, you look ready. I don't know about Coco. 